done. We need to make sure that Hackney Council hear your voices because it's your jobs that are on the line. How long have you been uh, a dancer? About eight years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and how do you feel about it? I love it. I mean, I met some of my best friends work in the industry. Um, I never felt harassed. It's something I enjoy doing. Uh, I'm not a victim. Uh, I go. I come from a loving family, so I'm not reacting to anything. I love what I do. I think it's really unfair to be a judge whether when they don't even have information about what is really that we do. Um, they're claiming that we're a sex encounter license when we actually don't even have any physical contact whatsoever with any of the guys. With one fifth of seven year olds in the UK live in severe poverty and up to 250,000 people are about to be made homeless through benefit changes. Why is Hackney, the second most deprived local authority in the country, intent on introducing measures which will stigmatise and segregate women? Sex is a natural part of our life, it's part of who we are, reproduction, whichever way you look at life, and to suppress that outlet is actually more likely to lead people to do things that they shouldn't be doing because they've got nowhere to go. We're not living in the 18th century anymore. We need to move on in life. Uh, if it's my choice to do this for a living, I want to have the freedom to choose to do so. If you don't like it, then just walk away from it. I'm not going to your house to tell you what to do, so don't come to my job and tell me what to do. A vicar coming out in support, not a surprise at all. We're all human beings, we all have the same urges and desires. People choose different paths, people that choose a religious path choose not to follow sexual urges, but they still have them. We're all human, so yeah, good on him.